Hi y'all. Today I want to give a sort of guide of sorts uh, for the Light Assault Directive. Obviously, the Light Assault Directive is one of the easiest ones in the game because it just basically boils down to get kills, stupid. This will be from the perspective of a Nanic Systems player, but I've completed it on Vanu and it is the same on all factions. Of course, the weapons you use will differ, but mechanically the directive is the same as on every faction. And I figured, you know, some people might want some recommendations. So, just looking at the directive itself, the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to do your kills. Of course, you will probably just do this in conjunction with something else, but it's kills. Just kill players. Uh, look for farms if you really need to blitz this one out quickly, but other than that, this one will just come with time. It's really easy. It, it, it should be like Odyssey your first clear on any one unless you're specifically shooting for one of the weapon type kills. Carbine kills should be your next one because Light Assaults absolutely specialize in their carbine usage. What you use here will be largely up to personal preference, but personally for some recommendations on each faction, uh, for NC the Bandit is very, very good. Uh, your starter weapons will work fine as well if you don't want to put certs into anything, but for what I personally recommend, the Bandit is great on NC, so is the ACX-11. Uh, on TR, the Kindred and the Jaguar are outstanding. On Vanu, the Pulse RC, the VX6 Tac 7, or the Serpent are all fine options if you're just looking to get kills. And on NSO, the CBX75 is easily one of the best carbines in the game. You have good carbines in every faction here. Like, honestly, find the one that you like, but those recommendations are just what I personally found to be the most useful. And one thing I should note is that over the course of the directive, assuming you're doing it at every tier, you will basically araxium out one weapon of each type. So, if you're planning to do, say, your Carbine Directive alongside, you know, pick a Carbine that you want to just knock the Araxi mod on, because you'll get them at the same time. Uh, that's specifically why I recommend those good Carbines, because they're easy to use for most players, and they're very effective at what they do, but it is largely up to personal preference. Shotgun kills are a little more dicey. Shotguns are kind of weird right now. And for that reason, uh, obviously NSO is slightly different shotguns than everyone else, but I would either recommend your fully automatic, so that's stuff like your Pandora, uh, or the Baron. Uh, the semi-automatics work fine, like your starter semi works fine, the pump actions work fine, as long as you pick, say, the first generation one, which is the Bruiser, the Blackjack, and the, uh, the Demos. Uh, and the Baron is a very, very safe pick. The Baron is what I personally did most of it on, and of course you rack him at the same time. And it should, it's, it's a very safe shotgun to use. Obviously, you're going to have problems with the shotties, but in general, the Baron is your safe pick. But, you know, your semi-auto works, your full auto works, your pumps work. Just make sure you know how to position because, you know, on Light Assault, you have so much mo uh, vertical mobility, right? So you can just flank around and get behind people, especially at tower bases. Once you get how to tower stomp down and you learn how to play vertically around them, you can rack up kills really quick with just about any shotgun in the tower. Obviously, which one you use will largely be up to you, but I would personally lean towards the Baron or your fully automatic option just because they're the, they're the most fun to use. They're just enjoyable to use. That brings us to SMG kills, and this one largely depends on what faction you're playing. Honestly, SMG kills are going to suck if you're not playing NC. On NC, both the Gladius, Blitz, and Cyclone are all outstanding options, and honestly, just pick your personal preference. I would lean slightly towards the Blitz because you get a large magazine size, but the Cyclone and Gladius are both excellent as well. On TR, the Armistice is probably your best bet here, but the Jackal is fine. On Vanu, you should probably go for the Sirius, and on NSO, you should probably use, I don't know, like the PDW or something. The PDW and the Punisher are fine fallbacks if you just want to do a submachine gun that's common pool and you don't feel comfortable enough with your Empire specific option, but largely the NC submachine guns are all amazing and the Armistice and the Jackal are good too, and so is the Sirius. But it is going to be a little rough because obviously SMGs are a little tricky to use outside of extremely close range and you're going SMG kills to be able to effectively do them, you're going to rely a lot on your positioning. You're going to need to be able to go into engagements with advantage, or otherwise to just have superior positioning to drop the enemy before they even notice you're there. Because if you're trying to fight someone at range, you're probably going to lose that engagement. Because you just don't have the damage you'll put at range that you might need otherwise. Of course, the final directive here is 
you have to do five or six, and this means you either do life salt kills or vehicle destruction. Now, this one is pretty hit or miss. This depends a lot on how you play your light assault. I personally opted for light assault kills. And the reason for this is, by the time I'd finished the other four, I looked and I saw that I had, I think, 100 light assault kills to go, and like 200 vehicle destructions to go. It depends a lot on how you personally play your light assault. I personally play my light assault with medkits. I don't usually go after vehicles because I find medkits help me a lot more in my playstyle. However, if you're used to using C4, you might get a lot more vehicle kills. And for that regard, I personally think that once you get your other four out of the way here, look and see what you're close on and what you'd prefer to do. Light Assault kills are very easy because they'll just come with playing the game naturally. Obviously, you'll probably rack up quite a lot of them already doing your other stuff. Whereas vehicle destruction, you have to go a little bit more out of your way for. However, you know, if you already play your Light Assault as a very anti-vehicle class, there's good odds you'll already be pretty far into the vehicle destruction. And, you know, that one's largely up to you. Uh, if you're just looking to just play your light assault standard, maybe you're trying to work on your carbine or axiom at the same time, or your shotguns or whatever, light assault kills will probably just be a nice freebie as you go along. But if you're used to blowing out vehicles, or maybe you're trying to work on your deployed sunderer kills for objectives, vehicle destruction will probably be the easier option here, or if you just want to get an Araxium C4 brick or whatever. So that one largely comes up to your own preference. Um, I would definitely say more towards the light assault kills, just because, well, to be honest, it's easier and it just comes far more naturally. But that one's largely up to you. And of course, the last thing, you get rewarded with your Araxium Light Assault Armor. It's good on every faction except for NSO. Uh, I, I don't feel like logging to my Vana character to show you, but you can preview it, and honestly, the the Light Assault Armor generally looks very good. As a general rule of thumb, it will coat your back, uh, your jetpack, your shoulder pads, your knee pads, and a little bit of your chest plate. And of course, how much you like it largely depends on how much you like your faction's Araxium trim. Uh, but on NSO, it is definitely one of the weaker rewards here, because NSO Araxium trims don't have that much coverage. On NSO, you really only get the bits of the jetpack, the ammo pouches, and uh, that's about it if you play NSO. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Honestly, the Light Assault Directive is so easy that you'll probably get very far into this one without even actively shooting for it, because it basically just boils down to get kills, dipshit. And in that regard, if you're just looking to get a class of Raxium out of the way, the Light Assault is far and away the easiest one here. There's no bad weapons in here, there's no catches, you, it's just a very easy directive. So, you know, if, you're, if you like playing Light Assault or you just want to knock a class directive out for whatever reason, the Light Assault is by far one of the easiest ways to go. So, thank you all, and I will see you all uh, tomorrow, or tonight, maybe.